ओम प्रपन्न पार जाताय तत्र व्यक्ति कपाणे ज्ञान मुद्राय कृष्णाय गीता अमृत गृह नम आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द गीता ज्ञान जग्ञ प्रोग्राम बाय अकाडमी ऑफ योग एंड ओरिएंटल स्टडी भुवनेश्वर दिस इज ए लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन श्रीमद भगवद गीता बाय डॉक्टर इंदुलता दास डायरेक्टर अकाडमी ऑफ योग एंड ओरिएंटल स्टडी भुवनेश्वर This is Adhyaya number one, that is Arjuna Vishada Yoga. Today we will discuss from 31 to 35, in which Arjuna declines to fight. Earlier we have uh, uh, covered up to Sloka number 30. Today we start from Sloka number 31, which is said by Arjuna. Arjuna says, Nimitan cha pasyami viparita ni keshava, na cha sreya no pasyami hatva swadhyana mahave. The prose form or the anway of the Sloka would be like this. एक सब विपरीता निमित्ता च पश्या स्वजन आहवे हत्वा श्रेय न अनुपश्या द मीनिंग ऑफ इंडिविजुअल वर्ड्स वुड बी लाइक दिस हे के सब दैट मीन्स ओ के सब विपरीता आडवर्स निमित्ता मीन्स ओमेन्स और साइंस च ऑल्सो पश्या मीन्स सी स्वजनम ओन पीपुल आहवे इन द बैटर हत्वा बाय किलिंग श्रेय गुड वेलफेयर न अनुपश्या डू नट सी Meaning of the whole sloka is like this: Oh Krishna, I also see adverse moments. I do not see any welfare in killing my own people in the battle. Now let us elaborate a few words. Let us find out the nirvachana or the etymological interpretation of a few words. Okay, so what? It is interpret etymological interpretation. This is not exact meaning. द इंटरप्रिटेशन इज लाइक दिस के जले सर्वदेहे च शयन जस्म वदंती वैदिक सर्वे तंग देव केशव परम दैट मीन्स क मीन्स वाटर और फिजिकल बॉडी द आत्मा हु इज लाइज इन ऑल द बॉडीज इज कॉल्ड केशव बाय द वाइज हु आर वेल वर्स्ट इन वैदिक नॉलेज नंबर टू इज निमित्त हियर वी डू नॉट वी डू नॉट इंटरप्रिट इट Or we do not do the nirvachana. Here it is the meaning. Nimittang he tu lakmano ha. In Amar Kosho we find two meanings of the word nimitta. Nimitta means number one cause and number two sign. Here the meaning sign is used. Now sloka number thirty two. This is also said by Arjuna. He says, "Nakang ke vijayam Krishna na cha rajyam sukhani cha king na rajya na go bin da king bhogir jivite na ba." The sloka, the prose form of this sloka would be like this: Hey Krishna, aham vijayam na kankhe na cha rajyam sukha ni cha kankhe. Hey Govinda, na har rajya na bhogai hi jibite na ba kim. The meaning of individual words would be like this: Aham, Hey Krishna, that means O oh Krishna, aham. This word is understood here. Aham means I, vijayam, victory. Na kankhe, do not desire, na cha rajyam, not kingdom, sukha ni cha. Happiness, pleasure, also. Kankhe, the word is understood here. Kankhe means desire. Hey Govinda, that means oh Govinda. Naha, naha means our. Rajya na bhoge hi jibite na ba king. What is the necessity of kingdom, pleasure, and life to us? Bo, Rajya means kingdom. Bhoga means pleasure and jibita. Jibita means life. Meaning of the whole sloka would be like this: I do not desire victory. I also do not desire kingdom or pleasure. What else is of kingdom to us or pleasures or life to us? Now let us elaborate a few words. The nirvachana of the word Krishna. Nirvachana is etymological interpretation. It is interpreted like this in Vaiva Brahma Vaiva Ta Purana. Krishna Rudra Krishna Vachana Arnascha Sat Bhakti Vachaka Ha Ascapi Datru Vachana Krishna Te Na Vidur Gudha Ha, which means Krishi represents excel, no represents uh, devotion, and A stands O stands for giver. So Krishi, no, and O these three things make the word Krishna. And Krishi is excel, no is devotion. They stand for, or stand for stands for giver. These are interpretations, not the exact meaning. Therefore, he who gives excellence and devotion is known as Krishna. Now the second word is Govinda. Go means cow, earth, or speech. Lord Vishnu is known as Govinda because he owns cows or earth or speech. Speech here means knowledge. Now in Mahabharata we find the nirvachana of the word Govinda. 
here we find the nirvachana of four words vishnu jishnu ananta and govinda in one shloka we find the nirvachana of these four words vishnu vikramana devo jayana jishnu ruchyate sashvatatva anantascha govindo vedana gavam that means vishnu he is known as vishnu because of heroism or because of spreading everywhere vishnu vishnu is the lord vishnu is the god who has spread everywhere then he is called jishnu because he is victorious jayanath vishnu ruchyate then sashvatatva anantascha he is called ananta because he is endless his existence is endless then he is known as govinda because he owns knowledge or owns the earth or cows then we come to shloka number 33 this is also said by arjuna he says jesa marthe kankitang no rajyang bhoga sphani cha tai me vastita yudhe pranan stakra dhanani cha the anvaya or the prose form of this shloka would be like this jesa marthe no rajyang kankitang bhoga ha kankita ha sukhani cha kankitani te ime pranan dhanani cha tyaktva yudhe avastita ha the meanings of individual words should be like this jesa marthe that means those for whom na ha is our rajyang is kingdom kankitang is desired bhogaha is enjoyments then kankitaha this word is understood there kankitaha means desired bhogaha kankitaha sukhani cha cha is end sukhani means pleasure kankitani here also this word is understood kankitani means desired sukhani kankitani te ime all these pranan pranan is life or lives dhanani is wealth cha and tyakta having discarded or having left yuthe in the battle or on the battlefield avasthita means stress understanding meaning those for whom we desire kingdom enjoyments and pleasures are standing on the battlefield having left behind their life and uh, wealth they have discarded their life they are going to die they are willing to die then then <coughs> then uh, then shloka then shloka 34 this is also said by arjuna arjuna says acharya acharya pitara putra stathai vaja pitamaha matula sosura putra shala sambandhina statha the anvaya or the prose form is like this ete acharya pitara putra tatha eva pitamaha santi matula sosura putra shala tatha sambandhina santi the meaning of meanings of individual words should be like this ete means these people are ete is understood here acharya ha acharyas acharyas means gurus or the teachers pitara fathers putra ha sons tatha eva cha and also pitamaha grandfathers matula ha maternal uncles sasura ha fathers in law putra ha grandson shala ha brothers in law tatha also sambandhina relatives santi are meaning of the whole shloka is like this these people are my acharyas fathers sons grandfathers maternal uncles fathers in law grandsons brothers in law and also other relatives shloka number 35 this is also said by arjuna he says etanna hantu michami ghratopi madhusudana api trailokya rajyasya heto king mahikrute that means Uh, the prose form of the shloka would be like this he madhusudana gnatopi etan hantum na ichami trailakya rajyasya hetu api etan na hantum ichami king no mahikute the meaning of individual words should be like this he madhusudana that means oh madhusudana gnatopi gnatopi means while they kill me or even that means even while they kill me etan them are these people hantum na ichami do not want to kill trilokya rajasya hetu api for dominion over three worlds etan hantum na ichami these words are understood here that means i do not want to kill kill them king no mahikrute what to speak of this kingdom mahikrute means for the sake of the uh, kingdom meaning of the whole uh, shloka is like this i do not want to kill these people that means uh, the kinsman my kinsman 
even while they kill me. I will not kill them even for the dominion over the three worlds. What to speak of this small kingdom? Now, the elaboration, let us have the, let us see the etymological interpretation of Madhusudana. Sudhanam Madhudaityasya Jasmasa Madhusudana. Brahma Vaivarta Purana says, uh, the uh, etymological, it, it gives the etymological interpretation of the word Madhusudana. Sudhanam Madhudaityasya Jasmasa Madhusudana. That means, since he killed a demon, a demon called Madhu, he is no, therefore known as Madhusudana. Madhusudana means Lord Vishnu. He is known as Madhusudana because he killed the demon called Madhu. And in uh, Kurma Purana, I find detailed description uh, about the appearance of Madhu, appearance of Madhu and Kaitaba and their killing. Athadibhena Kalena Tatra Tatra Pratima Paurusau Mahasuro Samayato Bhataru Madhu Kaitavo Prodhena Mahata Vishto Maha Parbata Vigraho Kannantra Samad Bhuto Deva Devasya Saranginaha Tadakya Mahat Yudhang Tayo Stabham Abut Dijaha Banayan Kaitavang Vishnu Jishnuscha Banayan Madhum The meaning of the shlokas are like this, the meaning of this shloka is like this. After a long time, two demon brothers uh, named Madhu and Kaitavha appeared from the ears of Lord Vishnu. They were furious and huge like mountains. Two warriors, namely Vishnu and Jishnu, who were none other than two forms of Lord Vishnu, were ordered by Lord Vishnu to kill these two demons. A fierce battle took place. Vishnu killed Kaitavha and Jishnu killed Madhu. Vishnu and Jishnu are two names of Lord Vishnu himself. Thank you, thank you for listening to this lecture. If you have any question, you may write in the comment box. I shall be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.